Hey, it's Random Code here, and this is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to showcase how we can solve a problem of a course policy. And this is a problem that occurs when we'd like to fetch our API from our backend into our frontend. And we can see here that we get the error saying access to fetch at our. Let me just showcase this is our backend, which in this case just returns a similar array of a single user with some information. And this has simply been blocked because. We are trying to fetch this from our origin, which is also on localhost. And this has then been blocked by our course policy, simply saying that no access control allowed origin. As mentioned, just quickly means we can't fetch from localhost onto a local. And there's a few ways to get around this. So I'm going to first simply define that we can add an extension in Chrome, which then very simply just blocks this security feature in our browser, which would allow to access this API, but I would actually like to showcase how we can do it inside our Spring Boot application. And in our Spring Boot application, we just very simply need to add a cross origin and then give it a specific origin that we allow. So we're simply going to define that even though our browser doesn't like it, because we add in the header, I think it's going to be put in the header of the request that we would allow this specific call from localhost port. 3000, it should then work. So we're just going to add this to all our mappings. And we're then going to quickly go through our entire setup. I'm going to first like clean my project, build a new jar. Then I have an entire dot compose setup. We're then going to take this jar and put it into a container and connect it to our database. And we can then show it in case it works. So I'm just going to like speed through of this. And there we go. So we now like rebuild our Spring Boot application and restarted our entire Docker Compose setup. So we should now still be able to, if we just call the backend, trade on localhost port 8080 slash users. We get the same information. We can see here it interacted because it's actually connected. And if we then reload our React app, we should now see that the error is gone. And we now have this user, which we saw here as well which is our single user with the name Hans, Hans email, and his status is active. And then just very simply, not the best React setup, but very simply just for now, print it here to the screen, all the users. And as mentioned, this is the quick, dirty way of doing it. In a more like real production environment, we'd probably have a setup where we don't have our front and back on the same host machine, on the same server anyway, so this shouldn't be a problem. Otherwise, we can add some like Nginx magic, which allow all of this connection if we wanted to. But just in general, in Spring Boot, we simply add a cross origin. We simply define that we allow access from this specific position, localhost 3000. And this is then going to override the browser configurations that normally would block. Or some people call it a bug. I don't know. But simply that we're not allowed to call a local host to a local host when using fetch in a simple React app. In this case, where we just simply have a user fake, we simply just fetch this local host API, turns our data into an array, and then simply go through all our data, and then in this case, just put in some p tags. So, very, very simple setup. But I hope you enjoyed and maybe found it helpful this quick showcase of how we can add our first origin in Spring Boot to kind of like solve this course policy problem that might occur when developing in all local host situations using, for example, Docker, like I did in this case. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful 